Welcome to Photo Play's YouTube channel and welcome to Tuesdays with Tina. Today I have a fun project to share with you. We're using the Photo Play Paper Sweet Little Princess 12 by 12 collection pack. We're just going to use a few pattern papers in the collection pack, but and I'll list them individually um, because most of your favorite craft stores will sell them individually. But for today we're just using some pattern papers and also this fun sweet little princess stamp set. This is a quality photopolymer stamp set that has some sweet images in here and some greetings. And then there's a coordinating die set that will die cut out all of the images. Plus it will also die cut out the greetings too. So it'll die cut out one, two, three, four, five greetings. Um, and we're gonna cre create a card today using these. So we're gonna start by doing a little bit of stamping and I'll grab some cardstock and we will be right back. Today we're going to stamp this cute little bear, and I also like the little pacifier. So we are going to take the bear. I'm just going to use some black ink. We're going to use alcohol markers to color in our images. I'll show you those that, I, that I'm going to use in just a minute. But we're going to also take the pacifier. So sweet. I'm going to also stamp our greeting since there's a coordinating die that will cut this out. It says a precious gift from above. So let's stamp this. Lovely. And then there's also, there's two hearts in here. I want to take the one that we can color in. And I'm going to stamp this a couple times also. I'm going to go really basic with the coloring today. So I picked out some pinks and browns and I'm going to use the same colors for the pacifiers, but these are the colors we're going to use. I'm going to zoom in and play a little bit of music while I color and when I'm done coloring, I'll catch you back. outside the lines a little bit here so what I'm going to do is take my white gel pen and I'm going to use that to correct where I went outside the lines okay love the gel pen for that now what we're going to do is take the coordinating dies we're going to die cut out actually all of our images and then we're going to pick out some pattern papers. We have all of our images die cut out. I want to put these to the side and we're going to bring in some pattern papers. 
we're going to be using three different sheets. We have pretty plaid, and then we have sweet floral. I just love the dainty, the the daintiness of these florals. Lastly, we have Goodnight Angel, and I really like the gingham print on here. While we're trimming down pattern papers, I'm taking the pretty plaid paper and using one of my nested pennant dies. This is the third from the largest. I'm going to create a background panel with this, and then I'm also going to bring in my stitched scallops. I've been using this a lot lately because I love the, the softness that it brings. And for a baby card, I think it goes perfect. For this one, I'm just going to die cut out a background panel with using the largest with white cardstock. Okay, I'm going to run these through my die cut machine and I'll trim down some pattern papers and I will be right back. Today we're making an A2 size card, so this is a standard card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm going to take our gingham paper. I trim this down to an A2 panel, so it's the same measurements as our card base. We're going to use, I'm, I think I'm going to use glue today. We're going to use some glue behind our pattern paper. And then we're just going to layer this on the front of our card base. Once we have this adhered, I have a panel of our floral print and I trimmed it down so it'll fit just inside the stitch detail. Um, this measures three and a half inches wide by four and three quarter inches tall. Let's go ahead and adhere that to the front of our scalloped rectangle. I'll take this panel and we're going to adhere this to the front of our card base. Just so a little bit of that gingham is peeking out. I'm going to go ahead and take this pattern paper and adhere it to the same size pennant banner um, that I die cut out with white cardstock. I'm doing this because I want to wrap some ribbon around here or some twine around here. I also have a piece of the pattern paper. This is the reverse side of this one. It has the plaid. This measures one and a quarter inches tall by three and a half inches wide. We're going to adhere this. After we have our plaid print adhered, and it's about the same distance, about one and a quarter inches from the very top of the floral pattern here. This is going to go directly here. But before we add this, I do want to add some, some white twine. I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times and tie a bow off to the left. And then I'm going to pop this up with some foam tape and we're going to tack it down to our card base. Kind of centering it on the background. Now we're, I went ahead and put foam tape behind all of my elements here. We're going to remove the release paper and we're going to add our teddy along with the pacifier. We're going to put our greeting right over here. For finishing touches, we're going to bring in some glossy accents. And I'm going to go over the hearts. This is going to give it a little shine and a little bit of dimension. I'm bringing back that white gel pen that we cleaned up those edges with. And I'm going to do a little highlighting on our little bear. And that will finish my card today. A fun little baby card, a precious gift from above. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.